Selecting the right wavelength is one of the most important steps in laser beam measurement. It ensures that your instrument uses the correct conversion factors for your laser. In this EO Wiki, I will show you how to set the wavelength on a Pronto laser power meter. Welcome to Gentechio Academia. I'm Gabrielle from Gentechio, your partner for accuracy. Each sensor reacts slightly differently to light at different wavelengths. And from one sensor to another, even though they're built the same way, there are minute differences in the sensitivity curve. And because we want to give you the most accurate measurements possible, we calibrate each unit that we build. During the calibration process, we determine your sensor's sensitivity with high precision for every wavelength from 193 nanometers to 2,100 nanometers also. We print out the calibration factors on a calibration certificate that's included with your product, and they're also logged in to the Pronto's internal memory. When you turn on your Pronto for the very first time, it goes directly to the measurement display and it's ready to measure. But actually, this is only true if the laser you want to measure is at 1064 nanometers, because that's the laser wavelength we use in our labs to finalize each calibration for Prontos. The selected wavelength is always shown here at the top of the measurement display. To change this, you first tap on the button with the wavelength symbol, which brings you to a screen with six preset values. If there's one that you like in there, you can simply press it and it will change, for example, to 532 nanometers. If you don't have your laser's value in the six presets, you can long press on one of the values and then use the arrows to change the wavelength that is displayed. And when you press the blue button, it gets saved to your uh, Pronto's memory and that's the wavelength that you're now using. That's all there is to it. So next time a colleague borrows your Pronto and changes its settings, you'll be able to get it back to the right wavelength in no time. And you'll be ready to measure your laser with Gentech EO accuracy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to this channel to find out more expert tips on how to achieve the most accurate laser beam measurements for your application. Thanks for watching.